Okay, good morning class. Um, as promised, I'm going to go through the process of importing a file into Tinkercad. And before we do that, we need to convert it from a typical picture file type to a special SVG file type that Tinkercad can recognize. So we're going to get started. Here I am in the um, Google Classroom, Cougar Medallion. Do a Google search and find the image you want on your medallion. Save it as a PNG file. Use the link provided to convert the PNG file to an SVG file. Number three, import the SVG file to Tinkercad. Extrude the image and add to the medallion. Export your medallion as an STL file and turn it in through this assignment. That's a lot to do, so let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's do a Google search. And we're going to look for Cougar uh, Drawing because we want to use a drawing. We don't want an actual picture. Okay, let's, now let's do images, if I can get on there. Okay, images. And we want something with thick black lines, no shading. This kind of picture, that's not going to work for us. These lines look a little thin to me, so I'm just going to pick something. Uh, these with watermarks, the little words underneath, those are protected. We don't want to use those. Okay, so I'm going to grab um, this one right here. So I'm going to right-click on it and save as picture. And now on mine, I see it's saving as a JPEG. I think that will work. Normally we get PNGs. This is a JPEG picture image. Okay, so let's save it to um, PC Pictures. That's fine. It's going to save on yours to your um, Google Drive. All right, so now I'm going to go back to the assignment. And there's this link here. And I'm going to click on this link. And I'm going to look for the image that I just saved. And let me see. Am I saving here? You now have the following options. Convert another file to SVG. Okay, we need to click on number one here. Remember, if you get behind, you can pause, rewind, do what you need to do. Follow this video as many times as you need. Okay, so let's click on Browse. Or on yours, it might say Find File. Okay, I'm on a different kind of computer, so some things are a little bit different. I'm not in the same file as I just saved to. But I'm going to go ahead and just do um I'm going to go ahead and grab this image here. This is a JPEG. Oops. Left click on it and open it. And you can see the file name appears in that little window there. So now all of this is ways we can uh, customize it, but we're just going to click on convert file. Okay. And now that should have saved to your Google Drive. So the next step is to go to Tinkercad. And we are going to go and look for that image. So I want to go to Import. Ch 
choose a file. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. And now... Hmm. Here it is. Okay. So here's an important thing. This is the original file. Our computers are able to recognize those JPEG and PNG files. And they can show us the image in this catalog of images. Um, they cannot read SVG files. So this one right here is my SVG file. Now on your Chromebooks, it's going to show up as a little black dot. So you're not looking for the picture, you're looking for the little black dot with the same file name. See, Cougar V, Cougar V. So we're going to click on this one, and when we hover over it, we see that it is an SVG file. So click on that and open it. And now, if we were to leave this scale 100%, it would be really big. So I'm going to reduce it to 20%. And now I'm going to click on Import. Okay, now see it's still big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce it down. Let's see, this is half an inch by half an inch. Or, or no, two inches by two inches, right? So I'm just going to, in this case, nor, since this has the ring around it, normally I would click Shift and reduce it like this by pushing on that little corner until I get the size I want it. But since this has that ring around it, I want to get it to exactly two inches by two inches. Uh-oh. <laughs> my computer is lagging. Oh, my goodness. So, for me, I'm just going to do 2 by 2. And then I would like this to be 0 0.2, the height 0 0.2. And then I'm just going to set it on there. And I will group these two images. Good morning, teachers. And now I would click on this. And I want to export it. So I have to have it selected. And now I'm going to export it as an SL STL file. And that's going to create a file that I can save and print on the 3D printer. So that is pretty much what you need to do. I know this isn't the best video, but we got announcements going off and it's early in the morning, so forgive me. Okay. That's it. Signing off.